Well, howdy doody, everybody. Uh, how y'all doing this fine evening? It's a great evening here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. So it is still March 3rd. I can't lie about that. 2021 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. We're going to do a drive around the lake. But first, I need to mention it's picking up a little bit. We did have quite a break. Basically, right after I was done with the last video, we didn't really have much more snow, as you can see. Hardly anything, folks. Hardly anything at all. Hardly anything. No, it's hardly anything. I know, I know see nothing, sir. I know see nothing. You sound like Chewbacca, sir. Okay, anyway, so March 3rd, 2021, uh, we are going to drive around the lake, and then we're going to stop. We're going to drive down a street called Cienega for one of my girls here. Uh, I, and I feel so rude that your name is spacing my mind. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I won't forget again. I won't forget. I promise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I've got a lot of... I know. I always say it every video. I got a lot of problems. I got a lot of problems. But you know what, man? It's all good. And look, we're getting some sleet right now, folks. These are some big sleet pellets, y'all. These are the pellets of sleet. Oh, sleet it is. Oh, yes, it's sleet. And the further we go this way, the whiter everything is going to get. Whiter. The color white. 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 It's going to be very much white over here. And it says 34 minutes to running springs. <laughs> Not the way we drive. It's going to be maybe like 33 minutes and 47 seconds. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're just... Uh, Oh, this guy's speeding up on me on the left-hand side. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. I'm going 40, and he's going 43, and it's not making me too happy. But sometimes people speed up to me because they recognize the car, or they think they recognize the car. Barney. What a Barney. He was just speeding up because he wanted to drive fast. Who does he think he is? But hang on, guys. i got to stop this for a second. Okay, now we're playing it back. They're recording it back. So it's 33 degrees, you guys. We're getting a good, uh, good dosing, dousing of sleet at the moment. Uh, whenever I think of that word sleet, it just reminds me of my ex. Uh, no, that wasn't funny. I know it wasn't funny. It's been so long since I've had an ex. It's like cheese, cheese, the wheeze. It's like freaking cobwebs and stuff. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that's my, this, that's just the way I am. And I don't know how to act any differently. But I try. Oh my God, do I try? Try all the time. For evolution. And so I drive in the morning when I step outside. And I take a deep breath and I get real high. Scream the top of my lungs. What's going on? And I said, Hey, 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 hey. And I said, Hey, what is going on? So when you guys come out here, come out here and go on this little freaking uh, bobsled. I think you need to do it. I don't think you have a choice. You got to do it. Bobsled time. Uh, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. It's bobsled time. <laughs> cool Running is one of my favorite movies ever. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. I forgot the rest, but it's bobsled time. Picky, picky head, go buy a new head. And we used to say, picky, picky head, you are not the thread. Oh, 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 oh. A million bum, million bum, million bum. A mini bum, a mini bum, a mini bum. Mini bum, a 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 mini bum. Don't get upset if you ain't got nobody. Alright. Oh, that guy wanted to swerve into my lane. What the hell's he doing? Who does he think he is? So, the reason why we're going this way, guys, let me hear it. Let me hear it. You guys know? Nah? Ah? I bet you guys do know. I mention it all the time, but it might not work out for me. I'm going this direction 
because I don't want to hit the traffic coming this way, coming towards us. So this is the traffic coming in from, uh, this is you guys coming up from down the hill, most likely, unless it's, it's, it's people in town just driving into town. But for the most part, the traffic's gonna be most of you guys coming up here, and I hope you guys get up here safely and be prepared, just have a good time. It's not overwhelming amounts of snow, but as I said, the further you drive this direction, the more white you're going to see on the ground. And there's white everywhere now. It's not deep, but it's covering everything. And I'm very, very happy now. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I almost passed it. Here's Sienega, guys. We're going to go down Sienega. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. So Pleasure Point Marina is over here, and no, guys, it's not a brothel, okay? <laughs> Get your mind out in the gutter, okay? It's a, it's Pleasure Point. Uh, it's just Pleasure Point. <laughs> it's the marina, folks. It's the marina, and it's a, it's a cool little place. It's a great little marina. We have a few marinas up here. This is one of the nicer ones, one of the bigger ones, one of the better ones. I feel. It's the way I feel. My feelings are valid, right? I would hope so. I swear, man. I, I'm, I don't use drugs. Like, yeah, I burn. I burn a lot. Oh, here we go. Pleasure Point Marina. We're turning right on landlock, land, landlock landing. So here we are at Pleasure Point, but I don't think we can get in here. That's quite just a misfortune. We're being just quite, quite unfortunate here. Look at this though, there's a freaking house right behind here. What is going on here? Look at how beautiful that is, just right on the marina. Anyway, unfortunately, my dear, we can't go in as much as I would want to, because it's Pleasure Point. <laughs> I love it, yeah. <laughs> but we can't make it. So, unfortunately, we gotta head back. And look, hey, there's 619 right there. It's San Diego. Stay classy there, San Diego. So, now we're gonna finish going around around the lake huh we're going to finish going around the lake so now we turn here now we're going to go we're going to turn right here we're just going to catch the rest of the way down sienega down the west of the way and then catch a side street back to big bear boulevard and then we're going to be good i don't think there's any other way that's better to go than this way so we're going to go this way my way is the best way there's no better way than my way because i did it my way i took a drive i made a few and it snowed just like I took a poo. <laughs> Seriously, dude, I, this is just, it hasn't, we haven't had snow in a while and I'm just that much more excited than, than I usually am. And this isn't much snow, but I'm just really excited. And when you guys wonder what's in my upper lip, it's a nicotine, it's straight up nicotine. There's, there's, no, there's no tobacco in it, nothing. So there's no, none of the cancer uh, the, the cancerous stuff in there. It's just like your cup of coffee every day, your cup of caffeine. This is just my nicotine every day. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering why it looks like I have a fat lip all the time, it's, uh, it's, it's not the herps. It's not that. As I said earlier, guys, that is not the herps. That's not the herps. That was a zit. Or I thought it was a zit, but it was an ingrown hair. And I kept on trying to pop it and pop it. And it just kept on like hurting and bleeding. And then I kept trying to pop it and pop it. This, I, I hope you're not eating dinner right now. But yeah, I was popping it and popping it and then it, nothing would happen to it. And it just kept bleeding and bleeding everywhere. I was not too happy at that time. So I was going to call the ambulance, but I said, no, I've got to be stronger than that. So I was, and there's a lake right there. I didn't know where we are. Guys, there's some gorgeous little houses over here. Look at this place. Behind the wall. It's. Oh, and look at this van. Yes, dude. Or the bus. Yes. Yes. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I know I'm annoying the hell out of you guys. So, as I said, you can always mute this and just watch the beautifulness. Watch the beautifulness, the new word I just created. Okay. You know what? We need to go. We're going to go. We're going to back up and go that way. There's nobody behind us, so we need to back up and go that way. So, this is called Blue Jay Street, and this is the very end of it. We're gonna go up to the top and see if we can get there. Hello, Blue Jay. Hello, Red Jay. Hello, White Jay. 
no purple jade. It's all the J's in the way. It's all the J's in the way. So we're on the blue J. And we're on this next street. Okay, what are we here? Where are we here, man? This is Catbird. I don't know no Catbird. I don't know no stinking Catbird, yo. I think we're gonna take it down. We're gonna have to. I don't have no choice. But look at, look at all, look at, look at, look at all the white now. I look at all the white now. A lot of mercy. You know, one time, stone by. Stone by, stone by. Gotta be finding it down. Gotta be picking them out, rubbing, rubbing out, rubbing out the curly. Be stone. Be stone. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's enough said. You know, I just don't know. So we're in Big Bear Lake, you guys. <laughs> this is getting close to Boulder Bay. And I've stayed here before. When I came up here with uh, my sister and my niece before I lived up here, we, we rented one of the rooms here because it's you can you live here full time or it's a part of some of the rooms are like a hotel. So uh, when I got there and opened up the sheets on the bed, I got a nice uh, surprise. It was all there was blood on the sheets, and so I've kind of uh, not I've been avoiding this place like the plague. But with all due respect, I'm sure that's a very nice place. It's right on Boulder Bay, so that's really nice. But unfortunately for me, it just it, it just you know, bloody sheets just, it's just not for me, you know, it's just not for me. I mean, it's not for me. And guess what guys, look, it's snowing hard. It's really, it's starting to come down pretty good here. And we are very excited about this. We are very, very ecstatic about this. So this is the Boulder Bay area, ladies and gentlemen. And we're coming up to Papoose Bay. <laughs> sledders, sledders, bow betters, banana nana faux fetters, be by bow betters, sledders. Sledders, sledders, bow betters, banana nana faux fetters, be by bow betters, sledders. Sledder better, bow fetter, banana nana faux fetter. We are gonna go get a better amount of snow batter. I think I'm gonna write a song. You like to hear it? Here it goes. I wrote a song for you. Would you like to hear it? Well, here it goes. I ain't drive all day and I'm a dork. <laughs> I ain't drive all day and I'm a dork. And I try not to crash. But I'm a dork who drives all day. I'm a dork who drives all day. And I have nothing better to say. Except look at the snow and it's not gonna stay. And I don't know. I'm trying to figure out another rhyme for day and stay and oh. And then maybe we'll get to play. And my song is done for the day. Once again you can hit mute if you don't want to dispute my cute hoot loot. <laughs> I am just <clears throat> I'm so happy uh, There's Look guys, there's snow on the ground Okay, there's snow on the ground I don't even know what to say about that Or actually I think The better response, or the better comment There would have been, I don't know what not to say About that, because I don't shut up God, this guy just Drives around like a schmuck Just doesn't shut up, he just keeps talking And talking Talking talking. He just doesn't shut up, man. I'm tired of this guy. You know, I subscribe to his channel just, just for the weather. Not for, not for all the other crap. <laughs> None of it. <laughs> Look at my eyes. I'm not, I'm not baked, okay? <laughs> I'm just very excited. I'm just very excited. And I don't want you to be mad at me. That's enough on me. <clears throat> Seriously, you would think like it's about me on this channel, but it's it's certainly not about me. Oh, this guy's so sweet. He's a sweetheart. I'm going to give him the old honky. There you go. I gave you the honky. Thank you. Thank you. I gave you the old honky. 
Honky honk, talky tonk. So, I've had a hard time traveling. It's been rough, you know, mainly because my dad used to beat me with a globe. <laughs> David Tell, gotta love him. Guy's hilarious. If you want to find the fastest way anywhere, you need to ask a one-legged person because they know the best, easiest way to get there. <laughs> Okay, we're at the dam. I mean, we're at the Big Bear Dam. And uh, yeah, this is the part of town that gets the most snow, ladies and gents. This and the ski resorts, since the ski resorts are right on the mountain. Oh, we got some accidents here. That's too bad. Oh, no, people just putting chains on in the middle of the road. I hope they're okay, though. I hope they're okay. Oh, no, that's an actual accident. Oh, man. Oh, man. At least they all had cell phones and they're all calling for help, so. They all are good. They, they didn't look like anyone was hurt. So as long as everyone's okay, we're just gonna... Just mosey on by. Just mosey on by. <laughs> okay, so we're, this is considered Highway 38, guys. This is a considered the Highway the 38, yeah? And as you all know, it's very different and very difficult. It's, it's kind of weird how they do these roads up here. So when you come into town, you're on Highway 18 over there, and then you make a left on this, and it turns into Highway 38. And then up here further a bit, if you're not paying attention, you stay straight on this road, and it just changes. You don't, make, you don't, you don't, you don't even make any turns, and it just changes. So you need to be very cognizant and cautioned of that, huh? You need to be very careful, huh? Do you know what I'm saying, huh? Okay. So, you can get back to Highway 18 from this road, though. You need to take this all the way through Fawn Skin, and then just follow the signs. Or actually, don't follow the signs. Just stay on this road. It's gonna turn right into Highway 18 again. You're gonna be fine. You're, you're gonna be fine, eh? Not gonna be problem. My Canada accent, not good. It's not good. <laughs> and, and the influx in my voice is not good. I have some Canadian blood in me, so I'm able to do this. <laughs> I'm able to talk like this, eh? So once we're done here, we're gonna go back to my house. My house. And play some hockey. I, l I liked playing hockey when I was a kid, actually. It was, it was fun. It was fun. I played roller hockey. I wasn't as tough, because I didn't play on the ice, but yeah. I'm just having fun with you guys. When I make my voices and stuff, it's just all out of good fun. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult anybody. Like uh, if I touch on you, it's because I, I freaking love you. Like, and and end of story. Like I just, I care about you all so much, and I don't ever want you guys to ever think that I'm ever saying anything to be hurtful. Like never, never, never. I just do these voices, and it's not to mimic anyone in particular. It's just to have fun, and um, and you guys make it fun for me. You guys are just awesome. I just love having you guys with me. It allows, once again, it just, it, it allows me to just, you know, suffer humility in a great way. And you guys allow me to be me. And when I meet you guys, the cool thing is, is you already know who I am from watching these videos for so long. You already know me. So that's a really cool thing that you guys have accepted me for who I am. And I don't have to like be a fake person around you and act a different way just to just to be accepted by you guys so thank you for that like it's it's very very heartwarming to know that i have people like you in my life i love you guys a lot thank you but yeah so we're on the north shore we're getting some snow it's 30 degrees now 80 miles till empty my car is filthy look at that ew ew we're gonna write snow snow yay it says snow okay I think what we might, what I usually do when I do these drives is I'll stop at the liquor store in Fonskin and get a Red Bull and just pound it as fast as I can. Because I'm thirsty and when I'm thirsty, sometimes I just crave a Red Bull, like a small one, just, just enough to pound it so I don't get any brain freeze trying to drink the whole can of cold drink. <laughs> a whole can of cold drink. 
Yep. And we're right on the lake, you guys, just so you know. I mean, that's right on the lake. And it looks like an ocean. That's so cool. It feels like one of the great lakes because you can't see the other side. But yeah, we're starting to get a little accumulating snow, guys. So that's that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. It's good. It's good, Doc. It's good. Look at that big, beautiful house. And then I think this is a bed and breakfast or maybe a place that we can rent. We need to rent that, guys. It's right on the corner of the lake. Look at that view it has. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so gorgeous. Just unbelievably gorgeous. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna stop. I am hungry and I'm worried if I drink this drink, it's gonna make me sick if I don't have any food. But it is what it is. Anyway, this is the Grout Bay picnic area. This is the fawn skin side of town. And this is just a very beautiful, beautiful area. You don't get a lot of snow melt over here because we have these mountains and hills right here. Yes, most of the snow was gone, but the snow melted at the end over here because it doesn't get much sunlight. So when all the other snow melts first, then this snow over here melts. This will melt quickly on the right, but it's the stuff up here on the left that doesn't get much sun. So now we need to slow down. We are entering the town of Fonskin. Let's see if we can get into the 20s while we're here. Let's see, it's Here's the liquor store, right? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, we're, we're gonna park here some, 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 some howling. I, I hope, oh, I hope they're open, right? I think they are open. Okay, very good. Oh, 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 hang okay. on. Okay, and as you guys do know, I just got back from Florida visiting my dad for his 89th birthday. It was a first class plane journey and everything. It was worth it. My dad's so worth it. But my, 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 my mental faculties needed some sort of like luxury. So, hey, it's called Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. That's my other channel. So might as well live up to it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. The cool thing about Florida, you guys, was, uh, well, there's a lot of, it's so beautiful, guys. I've, I've been there many times, but I've never been to that area of Florida. It was gorgeous. It reminded me of, of, of being in the Caribbean a little bit. Um, but uh, dude, nobody was was wearing masks it was great it was great they don't have any issues really um it's just yeah it was great i enjoyed it and then i came back here and like i i was almost back to my normal self just being gone for three and a half days and was almost forgetting about the masks and this and that so oh shisa i on, spilled guys. my stupid red bull but i'm gonna pound it real quick. i'm not pounding but mostly pound it Gonna, you guys are not gonna believe this. I just pulled over and vomited. You're not gonna, I swear. I drank that so fast. And I haven't had anything else today. <coughs> oh. If I do it again, I'm gonna shut it off. I don't want you guys to see that. I can't believe that just happened. It's like, what in, what in, what in the name of everything holy is going on here? And then some of it spit, not the vomit, <laughs> some of the drink spilled. And it just makes me sad that it spills in my clean car. Clean. Oh, so cute. Anyway, let's go back and enjoy. Let's go back and upload this video. I'm excited to upload it, guys. I get so excited when it says, upload complete. 
and then I get comments and I get to respond to you guys. That makes me so happy. But yeah, guys, guess what I'm gonna do on March 10th? It's my birthday next Wednesday. I, I'm gonna go skiing and record it for us. And if I only have enough energy to go down one or two runs, I'm gonna have um, someone else record a couple runs. I wasn't gonna say anything to you guys because <clears throat> I was gonna have some like pro, like take the camera and then just freaking charge down. And then at the end, like be like, uh, oh yeah, that was me and blah, 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 but nope. Not going to do it. Wouldn't. Not gonna do it. Oh, oops, ha, oh, ha, wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. So look, we got some snow and some blue skies at the same time. It's some, it's some snap. Snow time. Blue snow, so we'll call it snoo. We're getting some, some blow. <laughs> Some blue skies and snow blow. <laughs> that was an accident, but it's so funny. It's so funny. And then, oh, you know what, you guys? Don't forget, when you come up here, go shop at my friend's shop. Um, he became a friend after I like just love the guy. He's got a, he's just a wonderful family man, uh, just a wonderful human being, and they own uh, Big Bear Smoke and Vape or Bear Smoke and Vape. It's it's either Big Bear Smoke and Vape or Bear Smoke and Vape, and they have everything, you guys. Like uh, um, since we don't have much up here, they have to have a lot of stuff that other places wouldn't have. So we, so they have a whole bunch of stuff there um, that other smoke shops might not carry regularly. So just, just so you know, I'm just trying to help out the super cool people up here that I really, really care about. Um, and he's, he's one of them. He's just a wonderful man. His name is Sahil, S-A-H-I-L. And you don't have to tell him that I sent you. I just want you guys to go shop there, spend money there, because he's a wonderful guy. Wonderful guy. And I want you guys to know, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to open up some sort of a bed and breakfast. Um, I can run the thing, you know, I've got, you know, knowledge and experience, at least through the educational forms through, I didn't c complete my bachelor's, but it was a four year degree in uh, culinary management. And basically I can, it's, it's I can basically run hotels and stuff like that too but uh if, if anyone's interested let me know um if you have a place you're trying to sell or convert or something probably not convert but um i definitely want to do something that'll be specific for you guys on on this channel and obviously people from outside can't say but you guys are going to get extreme benefits um like the usual winter time snow prices for uh, for a night stay the general public's gonna pay whatever the, the, the regular prices would be. You guys are gonna get like the ridiculously priced prices to where, you know, uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna undercut everybody significantly because I don't think it's right. You know, they can charge $50 for a night at certain places any time of the year, but then when it snows outside, it goes up to 250 or, or 300. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, come on. Without these people coming up here and spending money at your dang hotel, we ain't got nothing. So you guys just keep on coming up here, enjoying yourselves, obviously spending some money because that's, that's, that's what our town needs. The infusion of that fiscal, you know, we need that. We need that big time up here. And, uh, Obviously, it is a resort town, so you can expect to pay a little bit more for some things, but sometimes it just seems a little usurious, and I don't find it to be too fair for you guys, but under normal circumstances, it is a resort town, so expect to pay a little bit more, but um, yeah, just come up here and just plan on having a good time. Get ready to create a bunch of memories with your loved ones. Um, you know, be very prepared. When you come up here, when we have snow, 
Even if it's hardly any snow, you guys, it's very important that you come up here with tire chains. Very important that you come up here with tire chains. As I said, even if it's like this right now, because if something happens, God forbid that it's it's because of me that you know some like like the worst happens. Like I, I'm I'm not gonna be part of that. I I'm here to help you guys. If I ever hurt you guys, like I'd probably end up ending myself. I'm not kidding. So just understand, it's very important you always carry tire chains. And by the way, we're on Stan Stanfield Cutoff. That's looking out towards the dam. And this is. Hey, the Big Bear Snow Rule. That's Baldwin. Blue sky above Baldwin. But it's surrounded by clouds. But uh, um, just make sure you carry tire chains always, you guys. And for those of you who come up here often who are always wondering about whether you need them or not, um, dude, just, just buy a good set and keep them in your car always. Always, and then you never have to worry about it. And then I also suggest you bring warm clothing extra warm clothing in your car just like just sitting in the back with some blankets and some food and water and the food and water enough to last you seven days it's just I, I know it's overkill but it's just to keep you guys safe living here even in storms where it's been like just a foot of snow um i've i've seen it where people have been stranded over 24 hours you guys so another big thing two big other things very important is when you're driving up here, make sure you let two or three people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you that you've made it safely. And the other is once you're at the bottom of the mountain, you guys, please fill up your gas tank. Fill that bad boy up. Look at how hard it's raining right now. And it's raining from my freaking hood. That's crazy, guys. Mother Nature's weird today. <laughs> that wasn't rain from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> anyway this is what it's going to be like for your drive guys up here when when you get here it's totally fine it looks like we only have a couple more hours of snow anyway i don't foresee any real accumulation you guys this is this is basically going to be it so Just know that you're, you're, you're going to be safe and you're going to have a good time and just make sure that, uh, that you do have a good time and come up here and just, just, just spend as much time in the snow that you can find. And for those of you who are going skiing and snowboarding, who are concerned, do not be concerned. And also you guys, for some of the sled parks, don't be concerned about the lack of snow. Here's why. The ski resorts and the sled parks, they make snow basically every single night. And if it's a daytime temperature below freezing, they'll make the snow all day long too. So essentially that's what you need to know is that every night they're making fresh snow and you're essentially gonna be skiing and snowboarding in conditions that feel like it just snowed a good amount. So you're gonna have a great time. Um, our mountains up here and the people who who run them, they do such an incredible job. The system they have in place to cover the mountain with, with snow when we're not getting as much natural snow is just phenomenal, you guys. You would never know the difference. It, it seems like it snowed like six inches the prior night, every night you come out here skiing, or every day. So just be aware of that. You're gonna have a great time. You're gonna have a great time. And uh, yeah, just come up here and have a great time. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, or not, not for the day, but for right now, March 3rd, 2021 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Stay at the Best Western, great place. I love you guys a lot, a lot. Thank you very much for everything. And look, it's snowing under blue skies almost.